Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ndeye J and today's video is going to be about testing new products on my channel and featuring mostly Sigma products or so Sigma beauty products. So um, I'm so happy to say that I am now a Sigma affiliate and you guys will see my affiliate code down in the description box a lot. So if you do want to support your girl, do shop Sigma products using the affiliate code. Sigma does loads of sales on products and I have tried out a lot of their products today and I created this look including their brushes, eyeshadow palette, lipstick, eyeliner, like all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys a look, this look, a look, this look. I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look and then at the end of the video I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts about the products that I use. I think I find that it shortens the length of the video. Let me know if you prefer that or if you prefer me to talk through every product when I'm using them in the video itself. But yeah, if you just leave that comment in, in the comment box below, that will really help me for the next review video. So yeah, without much rambling, stay tuned.
where you like. See, you're used to doing things in the PM. Well, let me introduce you to the AMC. Try to understand. They call me Peter Pan. Let's fly, be my Wendy, but we might not never land. Your love is only worth the love of classy gentlemen. You say I'm one of them, so let me be your man. Come on. I'm not leaving, no. end of the video you're the real mvp you're the real mvp you're the real mvp uh, uh, uh. okay okay i said i wasn't gonna make this video long so before we get into the makeup products i'm just gonna talk to you guys about my accessories i am wearing playbox fashion accessories i've got the tiger i call them lioness because you know that's cute but the tiger earrings the loop earrings really super comfortable and light including the um two layer loop neck uh, two layer <laughs> tiger necklace and monogram ring it's got the little m on it for me to enjoy how cute so yeah i'll leave um that in the description box below just in case if you want to shop they are uk owned uh, so they are uk based but i believe they do ship internationally but yeah don't quote me on that check them in the description box below i just really love the accessories they're super super duper cute so yeah let's get into the products that i use so I have already done a review on the Rev on the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation, but the foundation that I used in that video was too light for me. Even if that's the normal shade that I use in Revlon, these ones run slightly um, off in terms of the color um, range. So yeah, I use Mocha in this video, and as I said in the previous video that I did, the coverage is there. Like the coverage is there. It was just the shade. So I use Mocha, and it matches me perfectly. I love the finish of it. This isn't the first time I'm using this product. I think it might be on my channel, like the shade, but I've used it a lot on my Instagram pictures, and I absolutely love the finish. I love the feel. I love the longevity of this foundation. So yeah, if you haven't tried the Revlon Insta Filter Foundation, you need it in your life. All right. Okay. And next thing I used, um, obviously, this is in no particular order because everything is just a mess on my dressing table. So, um, next I'm going to talk about the Unicorn Primer Drops. They're the Beauty Elixir Primer Drops from Barry M. Now, I saw Makeup by Tammy use this on her channel and I was really intrigued. I really wanted to know if it was any good, you know. So, I did try it. I haven't been out, so I can't say if it's going to wear well but it feels really good and it has that kind of tacky finish which meant that my foundation stuck to it 
easily and it feels really comfortable on my skin like I don't feel uncomfortable I don't feel like my skin is suffocating so yeah so far I do love it but until I do a wear test outside my house you know I can't say if it's good or not so yeah so far it's good but I don't know if it's good good you know what I mean so yeah but you know Next are the Sigma products. So I use the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. Now if you're a neutral girl, like if you're a neutral girl and you love those pops of like autumn colours and weird tone colours, then you're gonna love this palette. Like I love the colour selection. It's a perfect palette for a neutral girl and then that green, that green just sets off the whole palette. I'm not gonna lie, I wish there was like a darker brown or a black in this palette but I created this look without using a black or a dark brown it's just the base, I just used the black base to make sure that some of the shadows looked a little darker so nothing's to say you can't use a black base um, in the corner and give it that kind of smoky effect but I absolutely love the shade selection it also comes with a mirror which I'm not going to blind you guys and it comes with a film that says Sigma on it and all the shade names are printed on the carton which I absolutely love I don't like it when it's on a film because ain't nobody got time to be keeping that you know but just in case if that's not good enough it's also printed at the back of the box with the shade names on it so yeah I absolutely absolutely love this palette it's super soft easy to blend the colors are really pigmented and I have no problems whatsoever using this palette so the direct link to shop in it will be in the description box below next product is the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner. Now this is what I used as the base. Um, it is an eyeliner so you can use it to do a wing line and I believe you can put it in your waterline as well. But I used it as my base today because I really wanted something darker and spookier. And again, blended like a dream. No problems whatsoever. It feels really creamy. I absolutely love it so yeah if you're on the market for um, a gel black liner you need to get your hands on this next thing I'm gonna leave the brushes and the sponge till last next thing is the aura powder um, I'm not sure if this is a blush or an all over powder but this is in shade Nymphaea and on the back it just says Nymphaea Aura Powder. It doesn't say it's a blush. I don't think it's a blush because in as much as it looks pink in the pan, it just gives that all round like glow finish on your skin. Like it just makes everything that you've put on your skin blend beautifully. Um, so I absolutely love it. I'm just going to see if it swatches off any color. It doesn't really swatch off any color, but as I said, there's just something in it that just blends everything, like all the powder, everything that you've used. So I use it to blend my cheek, I put on my forehead, underneath my eyes and I think that it just gives that canvas like it just blends everything perfectly so I absolutely love this powder and it looks like I'm gonna be reaching for it a lot in my looks next is the lipstick that I'm wearing this is the liquid Sigma liquid lipstick it's a cream liquid lipstick it dries matte and this is called new mod I absolutely love colors like this I think that they're like the perfect nude for us black girls must say it women of color um, and I just paired it with a brown lip pencil and it just gave this beautiful pout do you know what I mean, you know what I mean? so yeah I absolutely love it it's super creamy the doe for applicator applied perfectly I didn't have to dip a million and one times it just gave off that pigment and it feels like powder it feels really comfortable on the lips so yeah nothing drying nothing is gonna suck my soul out of my lips I love it yeah next is the Sigma liquid pen eyeliner now I've not been the one to have a good like good track record of pen eyeliners I always think that they're just a waste and they don't add the the product doesn't actually get to the tip but this guy gets to the tip like you guys could see how easy it was for me to apply but I'm just gonna show you guys it has that clicking sound inside and you can see this is a tip I'm not using the side and just watch that do you see that 
I'll do it again in case you missed it. Do you see that? So the product does get to the tip, which I absolutely love. A lot of eyeliners, the product just sits on the body of it and you kind of have to use the fat section to do the eyeliner, which can be really, really annoying. But this product gets to the tip, so it was really easy for me to create this cat eye. As you guys can see, it's flawless. So I absolutely love this. Um, I also use the Sigma, what's this one? Long wear eyeliner pencil. Now this eyeliner pencil is super soft and super black. Like, do you see that? Super soft, super black. And I think it's one of those eyeliner pencils that you don't sharpen. You just twist it at the bottom which I absolutely love. So yeah, if you're on the market for a good long wearing eyeliner pencil that isn't going to irritate your eyes because you guys know I've got really, really irritable eyes, then definitely grab this guy. Like there's nothing I used today that I hated, so <laughs> just to warn you guys. Next are the brushes. So I used quite a few of the Sigma brushes. So I'm just going to go through the big guys. So this is the dual fiber powder powder brush or blush brush. Now, first of all, I've never used any Sigma brushes, so I didn't know what to expect. But let me tell you something. They're all super, 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 super soft. That is one thing I noticed. They're really soft and they pick up product easily so i use this for the blush and i tried to use it for highlighter but that's not what it's for and i quickly realized that the highlighter i was using was quite shit and grainy so i didn't use it for that anymore but for blending out my blush it was beautiful and then this is the large powder brush and you guys can see how soft this guy is and it's not even like shedding a lot of the powder and i used it to apply my loose powder from black opal so that and this is the large angled contour brush and i use this to apply my contour um my mac contour powder well it's a blush it's a blush compact but i use it as a contour powder because it's dark enough you know you know the drill with that but yeah it picked up product absolutely beautifully and the weight of these brushes are amazing like it's got really really good quality to them so i'm absolutely chuffed about them and then for the eyes i used the blending brush the e25 blending brush now this comes in a um special pack and it's a it's a pack of three brushes and this brush container which is super cute so what i use this for is if i'm still using my eye brushes i just put them in there while i'm up applying my eyeshadow why can't i freaking talk today but yeah i absolutely love this this is really really um this is a really good blending brush and i love the pink color it's super cute so i use that and then this is the eye shading brush again picked up product beautifully i use that to blend the eyeshadow underneath my lash line and it felt really really soft nothing was digging me in the eye and then this is the pencil brush the e30 pencil brush and i use that to pop um, the highlighter in my inner corner this is the exact blend brush and i literally use this to um pack eyeshadow on my lid and then this is another exact blend brush and i use this to apply the gel eyeliner on my lid and i apply beautifully and then this is the tapered blending brush the e40 now i've heard a lot of youtubers use this brush and i've just never had the money to buy it but this guy got into my crease like girl like i'm here use me <laughs> so yeah it's super super good helped me blend out my eyeshadow perfectly now in that pink collection also comes another large angled contour brush so if you're on the market for an angled contour brush and you want a handle that's super cute definitely pick that pack up and then it also comes with an eye shading brush so the last face product that i used is the 3d 
sponge now this guy I read on the website it doesn't say anything about using it to apply foundation but it does talk about blending concealer and blending your contour so I used it to apply my powder and to blend my concealer and the angles on this guy like help me create those sharp edges you know and get down the middle of my nose like you can see in the video I absolutely love this it's super soft you wet it first and it helps out to blend your products like a dream girl all of it will be linked in the description box so if you want to support your girl use the affiliate links now remember that I talked about the pink collection so if you made it this far here is the Sigma Essentials Trio brush set now I have an extra pack and I'm going to give it away to one lucky subscriber because I know you'd have made it this far in the video, girl. I know you did. So yeah, one lucky subscriber of mine is going to win the set. And as I mentioned, it comes with that pink casing. You've got the angled uh, contour brush. You've got the blending brush. And then you've got the um, shader brush. So yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the back of the box. It's a brand new box. hasn't been opened. So, if you want to win this box, first of all, it's only open to UK subbies. I'm really sorry, you guys. Once I hit 7,000 followers on Instagram, I'm going to be doing a large um, international giveaway. So, yeah, make sure you head over to my Instagram, which will be linked down below, and follow me on there so that you can enter the international giveaway once I hit 7,000 followers followers we're almost there I just need a couple more hundred of you <laughs> to go follow that page so if you're a UK subby and you want to win this guy all you have to do is one subscribe be subscribed to my channel two like this video and three mention to me what this brush is called I mentioned it in the video so if you and it's actually also annotated in the video so just go back and watch what this guy is called and leave that in the um comment box below i mean it's super easy one be subscribed two like this video and three just mention what this brush is called in the comment box below and that's absolutely it and I'm gonna check if you're subscribed so yeah make sure you subscribe and if you want a bonus entry because I always favor those that actually go above and beyond go ahead and follow me on Instagram and I will check both platforms you know there are apps now you can just use to check everything so yeah definitely follow me on Instagram if you want a bonus entry if you want a priority entry and just subscribe to my channel like this video and comment below what this guy is called but yeah that's it and you'll be entered to win this guy so yeah thank you guys so much for watching do let me know if you love this look if you're looking forward to the holiday season and what other looks you want me to show you guys on my channel and of course if you love me and you want to support me and you do want to shop sigma please go ahead and use my affiliate code below to help your girls your girl get some coins, you know? Get some coins. And my girl doesn't like ugly, so be nice to someone today. Bye.